This video is a brief introduction to the sources, effects and potential of the poisons found in poison dart frogs. Of the 4,740 species of frogs around the world, over 170 species belong to the family of poison dart frogs. Measuring only up to 2 inches in length, they are native primarily to the rainforests of Central and South America. Their name comes from the use of their poisons by South American tribes who tip their arrows and blowgun darts with the poison for hunting and self-defence. Their brightly coloured skin serves as a warning to all predators that they are toxic. Their colours and toxicities vary between species and this variation in toxicity is due to different alkaloid poisons or concentrations and combinations thereof in their skin. Alkaloids are naturally occurring nitrogen-containing bases and have a wide variety of physiological effects on humans and other animals. There are many classes of alkaloids, including pyrrolidines, pyridines, tropanes, quinolines, isoquinolines and indoles. Some well-known alkaloids include morphine, a pain medication of the opiate family, and nicotine, a stimulant most famously found in tobacco. Over 800 different lipophilic alkaloids have been found in the skin of various species, all with varying structures and complexities. Some of these include permiliotoxin 251D, a heart stimulant, histrionicotoxin 283A, which slows neural function, epibatidine, which is a painkiller 200 times more potent than morphine, and batracotoxin. Batracotoxin which is a steroidal alkaloid containing an oxazepine ring, is one of the most potent alkaloid poisons known. Being over 1,000 times more poisonous than cyanide, 0.1 milligrams, the equivalent of 2 grains of salt, can kill an adult human being. Its activity is temperature dependent, with a maximum activity at 37 degrees Celsius. That's the temperature of our bodies. It's a neurotoxin that irreversibly binds to sodium ion channels in muscle and nerve cells, jamming them open, blocking the signals, and causing muscles to contract, resulting in paralysis, cardiac arrest, and death. The highest levels of batracotoxin are found in the golden poison frog, which is thought to be one of the most toxic animals on Earth. One of these small frogs contains enough batracotoxin to kill 20,000 mice, or 10 to 20 adult humans. It was first thought that these frogs produced these toxic compounds themselves, but they are actually derived from the diets of ants, centipedes, mites and termites, which in turn get them from the plants in their diets. These plants synthesise the alkaloids themselves in countless different ways, two of which are by shift-based syntheses, and manic reactions. The toxins are absorbed into the glands in the frog's skin, making many species too poisonous to touch. Because of this, captive-bred poison dart frogs possess far lower levels of the toxins, as they're reared on diets that contain little to none of these alkaloids. So, how do they not poison themselves? Frogs that store and secrete batracotoxin, for example, have a single amino acid mutation within their version of the sodium ion channel protein. In this case, asparagine is replaced by threonine. This mutation doesn't alter the protein's properties, except creating a resistance to batracotoxin, allowing the frogs to accumulate it without risking death. Genetic mutations caused by other unique amino acid replacements cause immunity to the other poisons in a similar way. Scientists are now researching these poisons for use in the pharmaceutical industry, as it's already known that some alkaloids have painkilling properties, so may be used in a similar way to morphine. Other alkaloids also show promise as muscle relaxants, heart stimulants and appetite suppressants, as well as showing some anti-cancer activity. However, the therapeutic dose can often be very close to the fatal dose, so can't be given to patients directly but their structures can be studied to design better drugs, with the therapeutic benefits minus the toxicity. So, despite their size, these little guys may just make a huge impact in our medical advances with poison. <laughs>